This is Call of Duty 2 for the Xbox 360, released in 2005. And I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but this is my favorite Call of Duty game. And I've played Call of Duty 3 and finally played Call of Duty 4, and they're both excellent. There's something about this game in particular that packs a sense of scale and design mastery that few games ever achieve. It's intense, dark, violent, gritty, yet somehow thoroughly enjoyable when you take into account that it's just a video game with excellent controls and gameplay. In some ways, it may look a bit dated graphically today, but as you know on this show, graphics take a backseat to gameplay, and the gameplay in Call of Duty 2 is amazing. And the best part is, if you've never played this game or want to give it a shot, it's super affordable now because it's several years old as of this recording and only getting older. It's an incredible value because you get a ton of gameplay. More than a ton. I'm not sure what the weight of actual gameplay is on this disc, but it's more than the weight of the disc itself. Yes, relive the pleasant, cheerful days of World War II from the comfort of your couch. You play as several different characters in Call of Duty 2. You start off as a Russian, play as a British soldier, and then an American. It jumps back and forth a bit and generally keeps the game very interesting. While I'm interested in World War II history, you're not going to learn much from this game. It just glorifies the action part of it. They may have ramped up the intensity level for some of the battles in Call of Duty 4, but there's just something about the scale of Call of Duty 2 that makes this game memorable. They've certainly made improvements with the textures and some of the details in the newer games and the lighting in Call of Duty World at War is incredible. So even though there's a couple indications that this is an older Xbox 360 title, it still looks amazing to this day, I think. It's very well designed and has excellent art direction. I like the gameplay. I would prefer to actually see them put this exact same gameplay into a massive science fiction epic which they probably won't do, but there's just something so intense and gritty about the Call of Duty series that makes these games the virtual equivalent of caffeine. This is also on PC. When you play through the game on a 360 version in Veteran, you unlock the majority of the achievement points. You can also play your friends online. You want to keep your head down in this game. In a lot of shooters, I like to run around like a maniac, jump on things, throw grenades, and just generally try to melee everybody. Doesn't work in this game, especially on the harder difficulty settings. You stick your head out, you're gonna get shot. Something else I enjoy about this game and the other Call of Duty games is that checkpoints are frequent and the loading time after you get blown up is very fast. And they always give you a nice little, nice little quote from some generals or Napoleon or somebody just to remind you that you don't really want to try this for real.
Personally, I can only play it for so long, then I have to play something a little friendlier like Joust or Frogger. But as intense shooters go, Call of Duty 2 is a must-play. 